How are you? I'm just taking Max out for a walk. Fine. It's a lovely day, isn't it? It's really hot. It's boiling. Yeah, well, everything's okay at the moment. Like I, t I, like I said, I speak to you every morning. Um, no, he's not here. <laughs> the couple that he spoke to is walking down the path. <laughs> but he's not here, no. <laughs> Just hang on a minute. Hang on. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> I've just got to watch Max because of the road. Yeah. Well, I have to talk to somebody because I told you a dog jumped on my leg the other day and scratched the back of my leg. <laughs> so I'm just like being careful, just making sure everything's okay, you know? Yeah. It's really hot, boiling hot. There's a bloke with a hoodie over his head. It's boiling. There's a guy that's got a thick fleece coat on and a hood over his head. Motorbike. Got a hold of Max. Hang on. Jumps in the road, see loud noises. Right, I'm just gonna walk up the path. I don't know why a guy is wearing a fleece, fleece coat and putting a hood over his head, maybe he's covering it up from the sun. There was a bit of noise above my head yesterday, but it stopped. Um, it, I think he thumped the ceiling with his foot this morning. But apart from that, no. Max, come on. No, it just... <laughs> I just had someone say hello happy to me this morning and I'm perfectly fine, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy. I just can't use my bank card. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit pointless, wasn't it? Cancelling a bank card when they could have given me a PIN number. Someone told me I could have gone into the post office and put money into my bank from there. But you need a PIN number, surely. <laughs> um, shall we? Right, call me back in 10 minutes because I want to listen to my mother's uh, voicemail message. All right, mate, bye.
received yesterday at 2.10 p.m. Hello, Jeanette. It's me, your mom, Jeff. Message deleted. Next new message. Received yesterday at 6.24 p.m. Good evening, Jeanette. It's me, your Message deleted. Next new message. Received today at 10.12 a.m. Good morning, Jeanette. It's me, and I'm Jennifer speaking from my land. I'm going to you, Jeanette, or Crystal, as you're known, Jeanette. I just wish you a very, very good day, and thank you for coming up to visit me on Monday. It was very nice of you. Now, another thing, you have a very, very good day. Okay, Jeanette, thinking of you, I mean, you sometime again, sometime today, just to let you know that I'm thinking of you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Jeanette. Bye for now. Right, so I get some message from Flirt Finder this morning. Hello, happy. Obviously, someone wanting to upset me. Then my mother rings about half an hour after that message, telling me to have a good day. Whatever that means. What does a good day mean? Do as you're told like a little girl? What? What is have a good day supposed to mean? I get this four times a day. I'm in my 50s, I'm not a little kid, and I'm, I'll choose my partner, thank you, and I'll choose who holds my hand. <laughs> so they sent that guy out to be a chaperone, but he wasn't being a chaperone, was he? He was trying to touch me. That's not looking after someone. <laughs> He was a bachelor and he wanted to be my chaperone. And he couldn't even look after himself. More like he wanted me to be a bodyguard. <sighs> he wanted a woman to be his bodyguard. <sighs> How embarrassing. That's what my other partner did. Knocked on my door wanting help to get rid of a rid of a homeless bloke in his flat. I'm a woman. I need someone to come after look come and look after me, lol. I don't need I can't I'm a little lady. <laughs> And that man is certainly not my partner. <laughs> He's got a long head, black head, long lady, black long head <laughs> lady as a partner. I'm not his partner. need to put a hood over my head and you see anybody that's putting a hood over their head is hiding their face they're not hiding mine that's ridiculous they're obviously hiding their face for some reason I don't need to hide my face I'm not ashamed of myself or what I look like either obviously other people are <laughs> because if they, you know they take the mickey out of what I look like, right? Well, I'd go around with a hood over my face. They're putting hoods over their heads and faces. <laughs> Stupid. <sighs> I'm not going out today, obviously, because I haven't got my bank card. I should go out in September when it's quieter and the kids have gone back to school. People will be busy going to work and taking their kids to school and then I can go out in peace and quiet. <laughs> it's too busy, it's too hot. I've got an answer for everything. Do you know what I said? They said, hello, happy. I said, hello, beautiful. <laughs> and they blocked me. <laughs> Because, I mean, they usually upset me. They usually upset me, so they obviously got pissed off. 
they tried to upset me and then they blocked me because they got pissed off on Flirt Finder. Hello, happy. I said, hello, beautiful. Why don't you go out? It's a lovely day instead of texting me. Rubbish. <laughs> if your life is so wonderful, what are you texting me for? Trying to upset me. I sat there fiddling around with a phone or a computer. Are they Stephen Hawkins? <laughs> that guy that was disabled in a wheelchair. Sounds like Stephen Hawkins is stalking me. Or Davros. Exterminate. Exterminate. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> A fucking character off Doctor Who. We're coming for you, Crystal. We're coming for you. We're going to destroy you. Exterminate. We're going to make you upset. <laughs> a fucking idiot. They don't upset me. They upset themselves. Let, let him off the leash, yeah? <laughs> Do you know what I woke up to this morning? I went out to water my plants, yeah? The flat on the third floor opposite me is empty. So there was this foreign guy dressed in look like my mother's clothes with a hunchback mopping the balcony. So it looked like my mother Jennifer was mopping the balcony on the third floor. Old Chinese guy bent over mopping the floor with my mother's jeans on. <laughs> Trying to stop me going out my flat. <laughs> the more they do it, the more I will go out. That's the thing. The more they piss me off, the more I go out. <laughs> Don't work. Just going round the field like I did yesterday afternoon. Sun is really hot. You can see the Devon Sampson boat over there. The Devon Sampson. I mean, this, this guy that comes up to me can't take no for an answer. He said, that, will you ever uh, have me as a boyfriend? No. And the sense of humour that someone's got is absolutely evil. It's not very nice at all. It's sadistic. They're cruel. Taking the people out of people with disabilities, their colour, their weight, is is terrible. <laughs> this 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 person or persons need stopping before they do not only me a damage, someone else or even themselves. They must be wound up with jealousy and hatred. And you know that that can be a lone wolf ready to attack somebody and the police just sit on their backsides letting it happen they just sit on their backsides letting this go on it's obviously an insane stalker I tell you what, it, this is what happens when people ignore, ignore somebody like that Just walking up the field. Um, I had to make the video private yesterday because someone notified me that my camera was still running at the end when I was in Barclays Bank. I do apologise. 
when my when I get my new bank card and I get a new camera, um, we we'll do it we we we'll do it again. But I also need to download a, a video editor to cut the end of the video off. The phone was still recording whilst I was in the bank. Not my face or anything. It was all dark, but it was recording my personal details. <laughs> A nice person notified me by phone yesterday that uh, I'd given it, you know, so <laughs> thank you for that. There are some nice people out there. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It's like you're trapped in Alice in Wonderland. You can't get out of it. It's crazy goings on. It is. It's like you're trapped in Alice in Wonderland. These stupid, silly characters with funny hats on. I'm not two years old, you know. <laughs> By the way, I've never been a nurse. I've never been a nurse. The jobs that I've had, I've been a maid at the new inn in Gloucestershire. I've been a maid and I wore the classic maid uniform. I hated that job, absolutely hated it. So I've been a maid and I've worked in office work mainly. Um, and I work for the civil service. I have never ever been a nurse or a gym instructor either. <laughs> someone, I believe someone is attacking the wrong person, but I mean, you've got to find out who it is first. I certainly have not got a criminal record. I've never been a nurse. And I've never punched a police officer either. <laughs> Just, this is over, the view over the river. Um, that's the warehouses. And the forklift truck drivers come out. I can't wait to get a better camera with a better zoom. Maybe a digital camera with a zoom lens. Rather than this second hand Samsung phone camera I'm using. What a, what is a stupid thing to do? Cancel on my card. It's ridiculous. No staff manned at Barclays desk. There's, there's old people there that don't have a computer or understand things and there's no staff to deal with it. You're fucked if you're a little old lady, aren't you? Just leave you to get on with it. I don't know if this is actually coming on the field. There's a vehicle, obviously Medway Council. They're coming on the field, guys. There's a uh, there's a van on the field collecting. They're too lazy to get workers on foot, so they're driving a midway council lorry onto the onto the onto the path. Look at this! They're driving a truck onto a public path. It's a footpath. It's a pavement. 
because they're too lazy to park the lorry and walk up and get the bin bags of rubbish out of the bins. So I've now got to come off the footpath and walk on the grass, which is dangerous and it's got holes in because there's a vehicle on the public footpath. They're too lazy to get out of the, the lorry and walk up the path. That's what we're... <laughs> Medway Council workers too lazy to get out of their vehicle and, and walk up the path and empty the bins. So they're driving on the pavement. How stupid and lazy can you get? That's Medway Council for you, Kent, UK. <laughs> you just try and drive on the grass, I'll have you. Men in orange uniform. I've had them drive on the grass. They get caught on camera. It's going up here. There is a, there is a, a, a Norse, N-O-R-S-E, lorry on the public footpath. With men in orange gear getting out of it. And my dog is tiny. He's tiny. Could go right underneath the lorry, look. Savages. They are driving on a pavement meant for the public to walk on. It's a public footpath. It's disgusting. There's no witnesses, look. There's no one on this field again. No one. But I've got them on camera. <laughs>